What is up, everyone? <clears throat> Today we're working with a little product called uh, Better Calm. It comes from Better Bee. <clears throat> and it is basically synthetic bee comb. So if your bees are lazy like mine are and they don't really feel like building a whole lot of comb, other than obviously being fed outrageously, uh, we're in the middle of the summer right now, so we're in July, and I don't really want to waste a whole lot of time them building up comb. So I did buy this uh, this better comb from Better Bee. I did try it before, and uh, the bees actually take to it pretty well. Now I will say that this is synthetic comb. Okay, so it is it is wax. However, it is not beeswax. So keep that in mind. Um, they will fix little things here and there if they get squashed or anything, but they won't they won't build this out even further. Okay, so this will be as as thick as it is. Now it does come in this little box here, separated by the white paper. Um, it's more like a kind of a wax paper, just protecting each one so they don't stick together. Uh, I'll go through quickly how to put this together. And the most important thing, one of the, the issues that I had in, um, initially, and I had to basically destroy one because I, I messed up, is when you look at the side of it, you can see how these, these point up, okay? Well, I mistakenly put one in with these channels pointing down. I did not know that they pointed up. Um, well, I knew that they pointed up, I just didn't know that these were actually angled. Uh, so I put it in upside down, basically. So when they started to put the honey in, it just all kind of drooled out on them. So they didn't really like that, and they stopped using that one. So I took that out and uh, replaced it with a new one. So I'll go through quickly. Now these are just standard frames that I purchased, and I did drill holes in them, and I'll show you why. In a little while I drilled five holes on the top and the bottom and then three on each side <clears throat> so we will go ahead and put this in the frame now it's okay if it doesn't fit in perfect you see how this one's a little bit off okay it is completely fine to smush these top ones they will almost never use them anyway because they are not um, uh, they're not really the right size so you can feel free to squish them. You can ice squish them in, you know, anyone else, you know, you'll have people out there saying, well, you know, it's probably better to cut them. It probably is, but I don't have um, a hot knife. I would suggest using a hot knife to cut it, not just a regular box cutter or anything else of that nature because you'll end up just breaking it. So we'll put this in. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. It'll look terrible once it's in on the sides anyway. But I'm going to explain to you, and I'll show to you what we do next. So we get that top section in, just like that. And we'll get the side section in. And then we'll bring this bottom in just slightly. So it all lines up. Now here's the problem child on this side. So we'll end up just bringing that one in as well. Now be careful that when you're pushing this in, it doesn't push the rest of the comb out. If it pushes or bows the comb out in the middle or on the sides, they will not fix it. They'll just build it out, all right? So not, not, not with more comb, but they'll just fill it up. So what you'll end up having is when you're putting these in your hives, you'll have this big, large bow on the side of it. So you, you really don't want that. You'll end up getting stuck to the other frames and you know, good luck with that. So what I do after this point is I will go around and check just to make sure I didn't bust up any of these middle ones. Really what they're going to be using is this whole middle section. They don't really focus all on the, uh, the corners that much. And what I have is I have just standard flat toothpicks. I mean, you could use rounded toothpicks. I just had these in my pantry. So I put them in, I slide them in, and I crack the top off. Okay? So I don't push them all the way down in. But what I'll do is I'll slide them in like this and crack the top off. Now, as you're going around, you may have to fix it here and there. If it's not straight, this is the time to fix it because once you put these uh, toothpicks in, you're not going to be able to move this comb. It's going to be exactly where it is. Okay. So if you notice, and I've only, I, you know, I've, this is my experience is three on the side, five on each top and the bottom, uh, holds it in place pretty well and you don't have to really worry about it. If you notice, hey, you know, I can get away with two on the side and three on top, that's fine. It doesn't matter, you know, to each his own. 
but this is what I've noticed is what will hold it well. And I do normally start in the middle of each one and work my way out. Again, personal preference, however, I've noticed that uh, it will adjust a bit easier if you have at least just the middle holding because if you start moving these around and the middle is not there you'll end up bowing that out and it just becomes an issue so this saves a whole lot of time for the bees however it is a whole lot more time consuming for the beekeeper but we do this for fun so we can't really complain Alrighty, and the last one going in. Now from here you can see that uh, if I hold this up to the light, you can actually see the toothpicks sticking in all here. They don't care. They don't mind it. Um, you can also see that these, these cells are almost a little bit pushed in. Uh, you'll notice this from shipping, okay? It's not that big of a deal. They will pull this out, they'll clean it up, it'll be fine. Um, like I said, though, they will not build out more comb on top of this, but they will fix what's already here. Okay?